Dune Part 2 is one of the most anticipated movies of this year. The film captivates with its stunning visuals, transporting us to the harsh world of Arrakis. In this tutorial, I would like to guide you how to achieve the look from the movie, but before we move on to it, let's explore the movie's color palette a bit more. The overall look of the movie is a result of very careful planning and artistic expression. Denis Villeneuve, together with the cinematographer and the rest of the creative team, have chosen muted color palette, high contrast and dramatic lighting to evoke the tension rooted in the story. Each location has its own unique visual identity and today we will be creating the look using the still from the desert scene as the reference. I've picked this black magic shot with a couple walking through the desert to work with, as it's in some ways similar to our reference still. I have already remapped my shot from Lock to Rec 709 using DaVinci Resolve color management. I've set the input and the timeline color space to Blackmagic Design Pocket 6K, as this is how my clip was shot. And if you want to learn DaVinci Resolve's color management using multiple camera formats, enroll my course. Mastering Color Grading in DaVinci Resolve. You can find a link to it below this video. The course is really worth it if you want to level up your color grading skills. But coming back to today's video, let's turn the split screen on to be able to see our reference image next to our clip. Now let's have a look at our parade. So here on the left, the trace represents our reference image and the trace on the right represents the clip. And we can read from it that there's way more contrast in the reference still, so we'll start from bringing our clip closer to it. I will label my first node as contrast slash exposure. And I will start from my contrast and pivot sliders. So first, let's increase the contrast. And now let's manipulate the pivot like this. Remember, it's just the starting point. I just wanted to bring my clip a bit closer to the reference. Now we will focus on balance, as here in the reference I can see that there's a bit of cold tones and magenta in the darker parts, while our clip is still a bit too yellow. So let's create a new serial node. I will be actually working using only serial nodes today. And as we will be focusing on the darkest parts of the clip, I will use my lift and my printer lights below. So first I will increase blue to 0.01 and then I will decrease red to minus 0.01 and I will also use my color wheel pushing it towards blue a little bit more like this. And then I would also decrease the saturation over here. I would go down to 45 and this is before and after. And this way we have achieved more elegant and more muted colors, similar to the reference. Now we'll try to recreate that beautiful sunlight from the reference still. So let's create a new serial node and let's call it sunlight. And now let's grab the qualifier. Now let's turn the split screen mode off. And to be able to see our selection, we need to turn the highlight mode on here. And now I want to select only the brightest parts of the clip. So I'll simply move my luminance slider up. And I can also soften my selection here. And let's tweak the selection a bit more. Like this. And I'm not sure how it's going to look like, but we can always improve the selection later. So I'll leave it here for now. And now let's turn the highlight mode off and let's go to curves. And I will push my white curve up a bit like this. And this is before and after. Look at the difference. And when we compare our reference picture with the clip, we can tell that we have achieved a similar level of lighting. But to make it look closer, we can also colorize it. So I will go to my primary wheels again and I will push my gain towards yellow just a bit. 
and then I will do the same with gamma. And this is before and after. Now I can also say that there's a subtle vignette in the reference. So let's create another serial node and let's just call it vignette. Then let's grab the vignette from the effects tab. And here we can easily modify our vignette. So we can change the size of our vignette. Then here we can change the anamorphism. Then over here we can modify the softness. And here we've got global blend that allows us to adjust the intensity of the vignette. So I'll play around with these controls to match it with the reference. And this is before and after. Now I can see that I can actually bring a little bit more contrast to the protagonists. So let's create a new serial node and let's call it adjustments. Then I will grab the round power window and I will place it over the actors. Then I will soften it. And then I will just go to my primaries and I will increase the contrast like this. This is before and after. And at the end, we need to track it. Perfect. And now, I am not sure if you can see it on YouTube. Let's zoom in. There's a little bit of grain in our reference image. So we can also add it to our clip. Let's create a new serial node then. And let's call it grain. And now let's just grab film grain from the effects tab. And then let's turn grain only over here to be able to see our grain. Now let's zoom in and let's play it. So this is our default grain effect. And I'm going to modify it a little bit. First, I'll decrease the grain size to the max. Then I'll change the texture. And I will decrease the grain strength. And this is the grain that will be overlaid over our clip. So we can turn the grain only off now. And let's see the final result full screen.